All right, back again for another short video this time, I think. <laughs> so, recently, you might have heard that Epstein was busted again. I mean, he already did, what, 13 months of probation where he had to check in once a week. Some people are saying he, he might have had to wear an ankle monitor. I don't think so. I think that part's just a rumor. Not sure where I picked that up, but anyhow... So, more evidence has come out that Epstein and his little sex island, sex magic island, was um, uh, discovered to have had a lot of child pornography and other things, right? And of course, <clears throat> you know all these rich people, <laughs> and I'm not poo-pooing on rich people, I hope myself to be rich one day, I mean, that'd be great, uh, and I would hope that I would do good things with it the wealth. Better than better things than what these people do with theirs. But, of course, they're going to squeal on other people. They're going to let the investigators know who else was involved. And yesterday I made a short video about the deep state running. I decided not to put it up because I've decided that I was wrong about my conclusions. Yeah, okay, the deep state looks like it's running scared, but here's the thing. Just like I was duped with the whole Nike, Copernicus, Copernicus, Kaepernick kerfuffle. <laughs> I like that word, kerfuffle. Um, you know what happened? <laughs> when they pulled that Betsy Ross shoe, my first thought was, dude, Betsy Ross was an abolitionist. Somebody at Nike should have pulled him aside and gone, look, dude, Betsy Ross helped free black slaves, so your complaint kind of doesn't really make any sense. But you know what? <laughs> By now, I'm thinking Kaepernick probably already knew that. So did everybody at Nike. And the thing is, is that what happened right after that? Right after that, all these other companies, you know, clothing companies, came out with their line of Betsy Ross flags on t-shirts, shoes, sweatshirts, etc. And like a sucker, I mean, an untrained monkey could have figured this out. I couldn't. Well, I went out and bought a Betsy Ross t-shirt from Nine Line Apparel. Now, am I going to throw the t-shirt out? No. I'll probably wear it, but you know what? I've got to admit, I was duped. I was duped by corporate manipulation. They had to know that by doing this, there would be a backlash, that people would want to put their money where their morals are, right? It, 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 it's not uncommon for people to spend their money on products from companies who espouse their values. But how do I know that Nine Line Apparel espouses my values? Sure, they say all kinds of nice patriotic things, but that just could, that could be all hype. I don't know what those people really believe, but I helped make them that much more wealthy because I got caught up in an emotional manipulation scheme. So, yeah, I was played by Nike and these companies, just like you might have been played. A lot of people were played. Well, so this whole deep state thing with Epstein being busted. <clears throat> a lot of people, especially Trump supporters and people that watched the whole Pizzagate thing unravel, are probably jumping up and down and going, yes, finally, they're going to get some. They're going to get their just dues. No, they're not. You know what's going to happen to Epstein? <laughs> okay, so as far as I understand, and I could be mistaken about this, but he he pled a deal. He got a plea deal for a maximum of five years, so long as he spills beans on everybody else involved, right? And that was the part that made me think that they, the deep state was running scared. But no, again, we're being manipulated. I'm telling you. Five years for everything he's done, all kinds of child pornography, evidence that he had the Clintons over there multiple times to his little secret sex island, having sex with prepubescent girls, sex slaves, in other words. Now, <laughs> Epstein, Weinstein, how many other Steens are there involved in child pornography and child trafficking, right, sex trafficking? Disgusting. And does anything ever happen to them? 
Did anything really significant happen to Weinstein? Do you think he's actually being punished? No. No, 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 no. Epstein, being the Jew that he is, and yeah, I'm saying Jew. Jews. Not juice. Jews. J-E-W-S. Have a prison especially for Jews. It's Otisville. And there, it's more like a, a day camp for adults. Or a several year camp for adults. So, the way it'll work is he'll get half the time that he's sentenced. Now, this is a five-year plea deal for five years in prison if the judge is pissed off that he gives him the max amount of time. Even if that happens, guess what's going to happen after that? He's going to get out in half of that time on good behavior. So this guy will go get to play tennis, basketball, bocce ball, whatever the fuck that is, and he's not going to have to worry about getting molested by Bubba or shanked by Manuel. Now if the rest of us, any one of us, did the same sick and disgusting and perverted and twi twisted and immoral shit that he did, we'd be in prison for life. And we would have to join a gang. We would have to watch our back and we would likely get shanked. Because in prison, they don't like Chesters. If you don't know what a Chester is, look it up. It's a child molester. This guy was a child molester. The lowest of the lowest possible scum on this planet that ever existed. Lower than Mohammed. Well, on the level of Mohammed, the prophet of Allah. So, yeah, no, there's no justice. We're being played. We're being told that finally these guys are going to get their just desserts. No, they're not. No, they're not. In the end, evil wins. In the end, evil wins. And, and you know, I, I don't know what more to say about it. <laughs> Movies aren't how real life is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. The good guy doesn't win in the end. The good guy doesn't get the girl in the end. The bad guy does. Bad guys win. Evil wins. So, what's the point? Well, the point is to fight. The point is that even if you are going to lose, you still need to fight. At least to me, that's, that's how I see it. If I'm going to say I'm going to stick by my principles, well then that means I need to stick by my principles. Uh, somewhere I heard this... Um, you know, some people are for principles first, solutions second. Others are for solutions first, principles second. Now, in in battle, in war, in in physical hand-to-hand -hand conflict, obviously solutions come first, principles come second. But you know, with the deep state, we're not involved in a physical conflict, not yet anyway. Uh, I'm sure that's coming too someday down the road. Who knows? But for now, principles have to be upheld first. Solutions come second. So what is the solution? Well, I mean, I can think of a number of solutions for these creeps, these elite deep state creeps. I'm sure you don't have to think very hard to come up with a couple of solutions of your own either. But I just hate to break it to you. These guys aren't going to be punished the way you think they're going to be punished. No. They win. They get away with what you and I cannot. There are two justice systems. One for them and one for us. And the one for them is pretty posh. Not even a slap on the wrist. And now I'm a little bit smarter than an untrained monkey. Thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace out.